Meet Taryn and Tess. They are raptor keepers here at Lone Pine Koala Sanctuary in Australia. If you're a bird nerd, then you may be thinking that these girls have some of the coolest jobs in the world. And you'd be right. They are part of a team who look after 18 different raptors here at the sanctuary, including eagles, owls and falcons. And today, you guys are joining me as I come face to face with some incredible raptors and get an insight into the daily life of a raptor keeper. But hang on, let's rewind for a second. What exactly is a raptor? Raptors are characterized by three key features. The first one is forward-facing eyes with excellent long distance vision. The second one is very sharp, powerful talons for catching their prey. And the third one is a hooked and curved beak for tearing off bite-sized pieces of their prey. Ah, okay, I see now. So raptors is the name of a group of birds that includes many different species. We're about to meet three of those species and see for ourselves why they belong to the raptor group. By the looks of it, Tess is starting us off with a barking owl. And already I can see how obvious those key features are. <gasps> Look at those eyes, hello. They're pretty big and impressive, aren't they? That's what she uses to spot her prey items, like little possum, little sugar glider, even other birds, maybe even a mouse. Even a mouse, and she would use those uh, talons, I imagine, to catch her prey? Definitely, they're pretty sharp and pretty strong, and that's why I wear this glove. I can imagine, safety first. And I can see that trademark raptor hooked beak. Yes, hers is pretty impressive, but the next bird we're gonna see has an even bigger beak. She's not wrong about that. That gentle giant, boys and girls, is a wedge-tailed eagle, Australia's largest raptor. Who do we have here, Taryn? So this here is Spirit, and he is a beautiful wedge-tailed eagle. Now he's a lot bigger than the owl that you just saw, but I can promise you he's still a raptor. Yes, a lot bigger with a lot bigger talons as well. So what kind of prey items would he be taking down with talons of that size? So wedge-tailed eagles, they often take down things like rabbit, but they have been known to take down a kangaroo as well. Um, but these guys, they often take carrion on the side of the road. Um, so carrion is already dead animal. And they've obviously got that big raptor beak to tear up their food items into much smaller, more manageable pieces. Exactly right. And I think you're gonna show us one more raptor? One more bird, and then we're gonna take you and show you the show. And this bird is one of my favorites. Introducing the fastest bird in the world, the peregrine falcon. I feel honored to be in the presence of the fastest bird in the world. Who do we have here? This is Charlie, she's a peregrine falcon. They are the fastest animal on the planet. They can reach speeds of over 300 kilometers an hour. As you can see, she's pretty sharp and pointy and aerodynamic to cut through the air. She's got incredible agility. Yes, definitely. Is there any chance we can see her in action today? Yes, you're lucky. We're just about to fly her. Excellent, let's go take a look. This is something I've never seen before, a peregrine falcon in full flight. That is incredible. I can't believe these guys fly over 300 kilometers per hour. It's so quick. It's not just me who gets to enjoy these aerial masters and learn from Taryn and Tess's expertise. It's time for the daily free flight raptor show and our favorite raptors are clearly crowd pleasers. Well, I guess now we know what makes a raptor a raptor. Despite some obvious physical differences, they do have some similar characteristics that make them part of the same group. 